Hey everyone, John here. Welcome to another episode of Grub Masters. Today, I want to walk you through how to make a tater tot egg bake. So recently, I was down at Hans and Patty's house and we had a tremendously awesome breakfast. It's a simple kind of do it the night before, let it sit in the fridge and then bake it off in the morning egg casserole, but it was phenomenal and I thought, Wow, that's really easy to do for a quick um, camp dish. First thing in the morning, it's kind of a dump and go, especially if you uh, prep up uh, the night ahead. So it's really simple. It's gonna consist of tater tots on the bottom layer, um, an egg and cheese and milk mixture, salt, pepper, um, some green onion or scallions, and um, uh, just more cheese on top. Uh, and I browned off some Jimmy Dean sausage I like the stuff that you actually have to fry up, not the stuff that's already brown and served. I mean, that stuff's okay, but um, you know, the stuff that you brown yourself just tastes far better and much more like sausage, if I'm being honest. So I did that in the skillet last night, put it in a Ziploc bag. I also cracked all my eggs ahead of time, put those in a Ziploc bag. So you don't have to worry about if you're camping or you're banging stuff around in your cooler, um, having your eggs explode all over the place. So that's really convenient. Another tip would be to put your eggs in an algae bottle. That would really protect them. Um, you got to wash an algae bottle at that point though. So um, I have everything in my cooler here ready to go. This is a dump and go meal. So uh, without further ado, let's do it. Um, full recipe will be in the description box below. That was funny. Layer of tater tots. <laughs> Layer of tater tots. As luck would have it, I have a layer here. I feel like I'm wearing a layer. We'll have to get the dogs out here pretty soon. Um, anyway, don't do that at home. And now I have my eggs. So I cracked up a dozen eggs, put them in a Ziploc bag, and this is gonna be instrumental because what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna dump everything into this bag do the moosh moosh, and I don't need to use a, a whisk or dirty a bowl. So let me uh, set those in the cooler. I have my cheese, three cups of cheese. I'm gonna reserve a cup for the top. So I'm gonna put in two thirds of this bag right into my egg mixture. So again, reserving, reserving a bit. Um, here's that sausage that I talked about, already browned it off, Ziploc bag. Do not put it into the Ziploc bag when it's really hot right out of the uh, pan, otherwise you will melt your bag, done that many a times, and I've learned not to do that anymore. Um, so in goes the sausage. Half cup milk, whole milk. And I'm just gonna eyeball that. That's about a half cup. And I've got some scallions here, or green onions, that I chopped up fine. And I'm gonna put in about half of that. All right, now comes the fun part. So very carefully, because I'm having trouble with bags today, obviously, I'm going to zip, uh, zip this bag, and I'm going to triple check that that is sealed. And it's sealed, okay. Now, you gotta do the shaky shake, the mushy moosh, whatever you wanna call it. You're just gonna give it a good tumble in that bag. You're gonna basically scramble the eggs. And that's it, that's all she wrote. So, I'll make sure you get that cheese all evenly distributed. And now, we're just gonna dump it onto our tater tots. Let me get you in here so you can see that. All right, so. Just gonna open up the bag. And I'm just gonna drizzle it over.
And that is it. So I'm going to leave this up. I'm going to get some coals on. That's all she wrote. So using the ring method, I'll put the description or the uh, link to that video up above. Um, again, the recipe is very easy. If you prep it ahead, dump and go. This is, I'm hoping for about a 350, 325 bake. Um, so I've got a tight ring on the top and on the bottom to maintain that. Um, I'll just keep adding coals. Um, and we're gonna let this go about, I'm thinking about 40, 45 minutes. All right, it's been about 20, 25 minutes, and you can see my coals are starting to, uh, to break down a little bit. So it's time to replenish. Um, I'm gonna steal whatever coals I have here, and then I'm gonna get some new ones going. If you leave just a few coals on the bottom there, it'll spark up new ones when you pour them on. And ideally what you wanna do is you wanna always have new ones ready to go. So I'm a little behind here. That'll probably add a little bit to our time, no big deal. Um, but I'll let these spark up, get nice and hot, and then um, I'll put some more on the bottom and, and replenish my ring on top as well. All right, quick recap. So the potatoes went down, the egg, milk, cheese mixture, a little salt and pepper, got all mushed together, sausage was in the bag, everything gets combined, poured on top of the tater tots, um, baked it off for 45 minutes, replenished the coals once, turned the Dutch oven, spun the lid, did all that good stuff to make sure that you didn't have any um, hot spots on the Dutch oven. Um, when the egg set, poured on the rest, that remaining cup of cheese, Put the redneck broiler to it, just loaded up the top with my coals, browned up that cheese, well really just melted it, thoroughly melted it. Um, and then I poured the rest of the scallions on there, so I cannot wait to dig into this. It's going to be so good, I could absolutely smell it. Um, that's one thing, when it's cold out, you get that whiff of scent from the uh, Dutch oven, that little bit of steam that escapes, and it's just so good. Um, so let's, let's get a bite of this.
Oh man, does that look good or what? That just looks so good. Whew. Smells so good, it's pretty. I love the little bit of green on there from those scallions. Plenty of sausage, each forkful is gonna have plenty of sausage. Potatoes look like they've cooked down perfectly. Mm. Cheesy, meaty goodness. Egg is set. There is, truth be told, just a little bit of a skin where those potatoes might have burned a little bit on the bottom. Uh, when you dig it with your spatula, just skim across that, and that'll come up. And the bottom of this, you know, isn't gonna have any, uh, any brown bits. Um, it's just heavenly, so good. Mm. Again, I gave you the rundown and the recap. Full recipe will be in the description box. Dump and go breakfast. It's better than a bagel and a schmear any day on a cold day especially. If you like what we're doing, please give us a thumbs up. Give us some encouragement, throw something in the comments. Um, tell us something that you wanna see us cook outside. We love doing this. We love you for watching it and uh, get out there and cook. Man, so good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm.